What's your Everest? Do you know the average climber will consume about 10,000 calories every day during an Everest expedition? It's crazy. That's about four times what I would normally eat at home. But on the mountain, it's cold, you're working hard, you're active all day long, 10,000 calories. To make it even worse, it's hard to eat that amount of food. It's hard because you're not feeling so well, and it's hard to carry that amount of stuff with you. So we were always searching for high-calorie snacks. Maybe not the healthiest snacks, but, you know, this is Everest. Knock yourself out. And potato chips became a popular uh, food source. So we would take them in bags. You know, chips in a bag, no big deal. Well, it was a big deal because the chips in a bag blew up on the side of Mount Everest. You know, they were packaged at some sea level factory so the barometric pressure of the air inside there was quite high and then you go up on the side of mount everest where the barometer the the, the air pressure gets lower and lower the air inside that bag much like a uh, peanuts on an airplane it needs to get out and at about 23,000 feet they start exploding and there you are climbing up the mountain on some avalanche prone slope and little bags of chips are blowing up in your backpack <laughs> it's quite scary it sounds not unlike a, a fracture line that leads to an avalanche so we're thinking, we got to come up with a better way to take these chips up the mountain. And someone says, hey, chips in a can. <gasps> Genius. We put them in a chamber and tested them at the university and sucked all the air out. Did they blow up? Mm -mm. Just that little stay fresh seal. Psst, ah, that was it. No explosion or anything. Plus the added benefit. I mean, what are, those chips have been in there for, what, three, four years before you eat them? And what are they doing in there the whole time? They're spooning. They're all snuggled in there, cuddling each other. There's good karma in chips in a can. And there's good calories. So we took those. And I began to think, hey, this is really what we're looking It came in the form of chips in a can, but this is really what we're looking for. We are looking for simple, elegant solutions to these problems. In this case, a caloric problem. I mean, for your mountain that you're trying to climb, for the adventure that you're undertaking, for the summit that you're shooting for, what are the simple solutions to these problems that you're encountering that you can find? Because when they're simple, then we can execute them. And that's the real value, searching for a simple solution. Often, I think we're out searching for some sort of magical solution. There's infomercials at night with a whole host of them that you can buy for multiple installments. I don't think it's really that kind of solution that we're looking for. I think we've assigned the magic to the wrong place. We want simple, elegant solutions. And for us, chips in a can. What are your chips in a can?